Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge, all my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. Hey, today's uh, something we haven't done in a while. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised you got the intro right, because you haven't done it in so long. Uh, didn't I just do it on a uh, vlog? Oh, you might have. <laughs> anyway, and I just proved Tom wrong, so... <sighs> yes. Anyway, uh, we're doing Chilling and Growing, and I'm sporting my Chilling and Growing shirt just for the occasion. I was wearing an outer bag shirt. I didn't make Tom one. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, anyway. I have a lot of t-shirts anyway. Tom's looking fresh with his hair cut now, isn't he? Yeah, it's weird. I, I still kind of like feel feel like the hair's there, but it's not. Yeah. It's amazing how much hair... So like when I go to stand up, it feels like it's going to like right in my yeah. eye. So it is amazing how much hair came off his head too, because it was like... Eh, it's been longer. He looked like Cousin It, for those of you guys who know that. What? Anyway... What we're I gonna, just said it's been longer, for one. We're going to make something different this time as all the rest of the meals. Because this one is more health conscious. 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 Caution. Co conscious. Conscious. Yeah, that's that's the word. Anyway, this is called... This is, <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys know about P.F. Chang's um, Chicken Lettuce Wraps. Uh, it's a pretty famous place. We don't have any around here. We don't, do we? No. But this is this is kind of our version of it. It's not exactly like like his. I got the recipe offline, but we're making our little variations like we always do with them. And uh, we're going to uh, start that. It's really an easy meal to make. It's really good for you. It's healthy for you. Um, there's not a whole lot of carbs in it, which is and that's one of the things I wanted to say is because people were were saying, oh you you can't just cut out all your carbs in this. You can't do that. I know. I'm not cutting out all my carbs. You know, you got to have a, a well-rounded diet. I am watching my carbs. Uh, I'm watching them a lot because I was eating too much carbs. And I'm trying to get healthier this year, trying to work out, lose a few pounds. That's about it. We got anything else? You know what? We, we don't have any shout-outs from... No, because we haven't done chilling and grilling since so, hey, last year. Shout-out to everybody. Woo! All right, we're going to get started now. Let's go. All right. I'm going to go over the ingredients now. Um, first, you're going to need, of course, some boneless breast, because nobody likes bones in their breast. But you want to make sure that you, uh, you can get tender, uh, the tender, uh, chicken tenders instead of this, you know, the little tiny fillets, because I'm only going to use about one and a third, and I'm going to cut it up anyway. So you can get as much as you want of that, but you want to use chicken breast. Um, I'm going to have lettuce naturally. Now I'm using iceberg lettuce. There's a whole lot of different types of lettuce you can use, romaine, all, all different stuff. But I'm using this. You, you just use whatever kind of lettuce that you want. Um, olive oil, of course. I have some mushrooms here. I mean, these are, I took the stems off of these already. I'm only going to use four of them. Garlic, onion, hoisin sauce, soy sauce, rice vinegar, we have some ground ginger, some sriracha. Five out of five. Huh? Sorry. And we have some salt and pepper for taste. So anyway, there's our ingredients. First thing you want to do, because I'm going to saute my onions first, because they got to get going, I want to get them down, is I'm going to cut up my onion. I'm only using half of this onion, just to let you guys know. I'm going to get that started first, then we're going to add the chicken to that, but I'm going to chop up the chicken first before I even cook it to make it real small. So here we go. All right, so I have everything prepared now to start up. I cut my chicken in little cubes like that. I'm even, even while I'm cooking it, I'm gonna break it apart even while it's cooking too, so it'll get even smaller than that. I have some lettuce leaves. You wanna just tear them off like that. Make sure you wash them, pat them dry. Um, I'm just gonna start with that. If I need more, I can go get it. What if the lettuce leaves are too big though? Then you can just break them in half. It's pretty easy. Um, you need two tablespoons of olive oil, okay? Here's my mushrooms, cut up like so. I actually like raw mushrooms, because I'm a fun guy. Get it? I have two cloves, all I did was two cloves of olive oil. I have olive oil, damn it. Garlic. Garlic, I'm out of practice. Don't use that whole head that I had, just use two cloves in there, and I used a press for that. If you don't have a press, chop it up really fine. I only use half a half an onion. Okay, we have in here we have a quarter cup of hoisin sauce. We have 
In here we have two tablespoons of soy sauce. We have a tablespoon of rice vinegar, three quarters of a teaspoon of ground ginger, and we have a tablespoon of sriracha. And of course we're gonna use salt and pepper to taste. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take a sip of water. That's right, water I said, because you know why? I'm getting healthy. I'm not gonna drink beer every day. So we're gonna start out by sauteing our onions first. I have my onion sauteing in this pan is where I'm gonna do most of the cooking. But I wanna cook this chicken in a different one. So I'm gonna put this, I put some olive, olive oil, it doesn't matter how much, you wanna just put some a coating of olive oil in there. Get your chicken in there. Put a little salt and pepper on that, on that chicken. That's all you're gonna to have to do for seasoning wise. And you're gonna let that go and you're gonna cook that all the way. In the meantime, you're going to, after these get sauteed for a while, then you'll add the chicken over there. But you're gonna, you're gonna drain all the excess grease out of this pan first. And the way I do that is I usually put a, a couple layers of paper towels down, and then I pour the chicken in there, let the grease uh, drain off of that, and then I can add that into the pan with my mushrooms and my onions that are already cooking, and I'll add the other stuff in there. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm breaking it apart with my, now remember, no metal edge in a, Teflon pan like this because you don't want it to scratch at all. My chicken is done. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to pour it in here. You see the grease in there? The paper towels will soak that up. I'm going to just leave that there for a minute or so and then I'm going to add that to my onions. But before I even add that to my onions, what I'm going to do now is because the onions are getting close to being done. Oh, it's a wild Garfunkel that decided to join us. Anyway, I'm going to add my mushrooms in now and get them get them going in there too. Get them mixed up nice and good in there. She probably smelled the food and got hungry. What's that? She probably smelled the food and got hungry. Oh, I hungry. guarantee it. She, she smelled the food and was like, hmm, what's cooking? So anyway, let that drain and I'm going to pour that in. Okay, so I added my chicken in. Next thing I'm going to do is get my garlic in there. And if you can't... Get it all out. There we go. We're gonna add mushrooms that. are also in, so they've been sauteing yeah, for a little bit. Mushrooms are in there too. Now we can start adding everything: our soy sauce, our rice vinegar, our hoisin sauce. Okay, our sriracha for the spice. If you don't like spicy stuff, just don't add this in. I mean, it's like a milder. Sort well, of it's op thing. it's optional, and, and then of course your your ground ginger. Put that in there. We're gonna mix that all up in here. I wish this had smell -o vision on this thing because this smells really really good right now. Yep. I'm gonna let this go for a while. Let that all them juices cook in there for a little bit, and then we will be ready to plate. It's pretty fast and a pretty easy meal to make, guys. Okay, so now, this is the easy part. Just take some of that, put that right there in your lettuce. Don't overload it too much or you won't be able to wrap that lettuce around it. You can eat it like a taco or a wrap, it's up to you. And there you go, it's that easy. And it's very healthy. Now for the best part, we cut. Uh, just to let you guys know, we're not in front of the green screen right now because lettuce is green. Yeah, so, so we'd be holding look, invisible wraps and <laughs> eating. It would look actually probably would look kind of funny. Yeah. We, so anyway, we this is all you gotta do is like hold it in half like this or however you want. We need more of a taco than anything. It's really delicious. I recommend you guys try this at home. It's a really fast meal to make. It's really good for you. It's nutritional. And try it out. I think you guys will enjoy this recipe. Till next time, grab yourself something to drink. Put your feet up and relax. We'll meet you at the lounge. Carfunkel, why are you looking at me like that? I don't like the way you're looking at me. No, you're not getting any food. Stop looking at me like that, Carfunkel. <laughs> Little help, huh?